okay to start I'm going to create a virtual machine and start the installation so very quick we're going to select Debian and since I don't have Debian 12 here the 11 is the closest one okay and let's start I think this is very easy for the most part of the people uh, you can skip these steps but if not you can follow so basically I'm going to put my location Europe Portugal and I want my locals to be United States my keyboard is Portuguese So host name, you put whatever you want, for me it's Debian, domain name, equal. And I don't want to use my root user, so I'm going just to skip this step. And because of that, my, uh, my user is going to be automatically made as uh, the sudo group. So I normally use an encrypted LVM, but just for the examples, I'm going to choose the first one just because it's going to take more time if I choose the other one. And I want to write changes to my disco. disk. Uh, of course, you need to pay attention of what you are choosing. In my case, I just have one disk since I'm doing it on a virtual machine. Okay. Uh, sure, can be. This is up to you if you want to be part of the survey. Okay, in here I don't want to select this because, like I said, I like to do the minimal and just install the basics and go from there. So what I'm going to have is just the standard system utilities. Because if you choose the GNOME desktop that tick, uh, it's going to install a lot of uh, applications, applications that I don't use and I don't want to cluster my desktop and applications that I don't want to have the trouble to remove it. So yeah. Install group up, select your disk. You supposedly uh, if you are doing it in the machine, you might not need to do this step, uh, but... Good, the good thing about the 12 and 12 is that it probably is going to install the um, uh, microcode that you need, for example for Intel or MD, depending of your hardware. So that's cool. And continue. Now we can just start configuring and installing the package that we need. I just want to say that if you choose to put a password on root user, your user is not on the sudo file, so if you want a uh, sudo group, so if you want to have the user on the sudo group, you can just do this command. And yeah, let's continue. So first things first, what I'm going to do is just to install Vim. apt install. Vim. And then what I'm going to do is to enable the sources. So sudo vim etc. update sources. Uh, I don't like just to have the main and non free firmware. I like to have everything. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to search everything that says main. And I'm going to substitute that to main contrib non free. And as you can see, <clears throat> in every line, I have changed uh, what I'm going to use. I don't like to be limited. So save and exit. And now I'm going to update my sources. Update. update. With that done, I can start installing the package that I need for GNOME. Uh, that will be first the GNOME shell. 
so the base of the desktop then GNOME Terminal, so I have a terminal GNOME Tweaks, so to have an, a way to edit extra settings then the GNOME Team Extras Uh, oops, Teams Extra, exactly. Then Nautilus. Nautilus. Uh, on Nautilus, I like to be able to convert images. It is not needed. Uh, it's just a nice to have. Other thing I like to have is um, thumbnails for my videos on, on Nautilus. So, again, not needed, but a nice to have. Thumbnailer. And then I like to install the file roller to open the archive files, uh, the AOG to open my images, Evins to open my documents, key, GI, GNOME platform, Kitty5. This is just a layer for the Kitty platform to use the GNOME uh, teams. So basically, the Wireshark, KeyPass, Krita, OBS, every application that uses the Kitty framework for its uh, layout, it's going to use the GNOME because of this, the GNOME team. And then I like to also install the curl, uh, the build essentials in case I develop so or something or I build something from the source, uh, the LibreOffice. The, and this is what is, what is important, LibreOffice GNOME. So the LibreOffice has uh, the teams, the, the team of GNOME. So it has, it's pretty basically. And also fonts, so fonts not a color, emoji, so to, to have emojis and fonts, fonts fire code. And, and also I like to install this, lib AV codec extra, so to have extra codecs. You can find in my file all of the package that I've put, I was just explaining them. Uh, this general I'm not going to install now, because I don't think I need, and this is just more a personal preference. I just think these are uh, the base ones that I've shown. So the Vim is just to edit the files, each top it's to see the process, git it's to for the git, okay. The VLC uh, to see the videos, OBS Studio, if you want to record, and the GNOME recorder is not enough. Krita, Wireshark, Kimu, GDB to debug, curl is already there on top, and load to see the internet uh, bandwidth, and map I like to use to check my ports or sometimes my to see if my server has the ports configured correctly glances to i normally use to see if my disk is being used to see if it's are really uh, uh, safe to to take my usb transmission for torrents docker uh, the, i like to install this when i need to uh, run java applications this is just if your laptop, in case mine, has firmware updates and the vendor uh, gives them through this. But the end exa, because they make the cat and LES uh, commands prettier. And this is in case you want to use uh, the Microsoft fonts. Uh, for example, in the library office, if your document uses Arial and all of that. This is just because I'm Portuguese and I like to have the spell check for the Portuguese and TLP for the battery things. So we can just run these ones and install. Okay, with the package installed, we can just reboot. As you can see, we have a very basic desktop installation with all the package that I told you that I needed. So here is Nautilus and this is my terminal and all of that. And as you might see, we don't have Firefox. So 
For that, I'm going to use flatpacks. What I like to do is go to the downloads folder, and in here, I just do wget and flathub.org setup Debian. I have the file how to set up on Debian, so I'm going to just do vim Debian. And really, what I'm looking for it's where it says remote add. So, because I didn't want to copy all of this line on the installation. So, to install the flatpak, what we need to do first is to make sure we have the flatpak. So, let's open another terminal and do ap sudo apt install flatpak. And we didn't have, so we are installing it. And now, yes, uh, let me be able to copy. So now I'm going to copy this line and put here. So basically I'm configuring the flat pack. It says that I need to uh, log in and log out. So let's do that now. It's just to be able to see the applications uh, icons that we are installing. So let's do that very quick and now we can install the Firefox. So let's just do flatpak install flatup and arc mozilla firefox install Let's see, we should have the Firefox, and there it is. One of the last things that I like to do, imagine that you have installed and configured everything that you wanted, is to now uh, remove the extra software that was installed. For example, this input method that I don't want. Uh, I would go here, and I would do sudo apt purge and that is called emconfig and you need to pay attention to see if it doesn't delete any package that you don't know, don't want to delete i recommend that you do one by one and for example i also don't want plimoff and as you see it is going to uninstall more than what i asked so there is no problem if it's just this and for example i also don't want uh, Yelp, that's the helper of GNOME, the cron, I don't use cron, and the diamond of it, uh, perch, cron, cron, I guess it didn't install, so what? Ah, okay, so perch, cron, cron, diamond. Yelp. As you can see, it's going to in uninstall this. Gnome user docs, no problem. And okay. And after you have uninstalled all the package that you don't want with purge, you can just do auto purge. And it's going to remove also the other package that are not being used so make sure that you are not uninstalling anything that you need or want so i just wanted to go through my file to explain some things uh, for example the flat pack reason of me using is to have the latest version of the things so i don't have to uh, go get the repositories and as you can see these applications are closed source in the zoom and Spotify, so I prefer to have them sandbox in the flat pack. I also have the flat steel, so I can be able to change the permissions of the sandbox if I want. So yeah, the two main reasons are the sandbox and to have the latest versions. As you can see, I don't need the latest version of LibreOffice, of Krita, or OBS Studio, and so on. And this is how I install Syncting. I install, I add the source 
VS Code, same thing. Uh, GDB enhancement features because uh, it's just a command or two. And it's cool. The Go. Go, I created a script to have the latest version of Go because yeah, I don't want uh, to use the back parts version because it's normally not the latest or could take time. And I don't know, I just like to, to have it. Uh, this is in case you want to have to install back parts, so you just need to create this file, put this line on the back on the file, and then to install the package from the back parts, you do something like this. The purge, like I showed you, and the remove of the dependencies that stayed, and this is because my team doesn't work in the flag pack. So I need to to do these commands. Uh, this is just because I like to see the, all the letters in boot and to see that everything booted correctly. This is just the websites I get my teams, so it's similar to Mac. The extensions I use, I really recommend these two uh, because this one is to make the team uh, work in more applications and this one is to show uh, the icons on the, on the taskbar. Uh, me adding my user to some groups. I disabled these three because I update them manually. I don't need uh, a service. The Bluetooth because I don't use my Bluetooth that much, so I prefer to turn on when I need. So I uh, I don't waste uh, battery. And same for Docker. I don't use it all the time, so to save battery. These are just some configurations I like to do on GNOME. So, yeah, I don't install the dconf editor, I just do these commands. This is for me to be able to have the tap to click when I'm logging in, uh, have a, a bigger uh, font, and to have a cute image that I like, and also the team that I use. Normally, you would substitute this with your team. This I really recommend that for you to do. It's to create the environment, the folder, and then create the file in Vars, and there you put the variable GTK team equal to your team. So this is going to make more applications to use your team. Some of them don't use, and I don't know why I needed to do this. And also, if in case you want to have the DNS over TLS, you just need to install systemd, resolve d, and then just change the, the DNS you want to use and tell to the network manager to use the DNS.